I like the look. This is my niece's hat. <sighs> Bro. <laughs> Let me be fucking real with you for a second. I think we all know that whenever it comes to, um, when it comes to certain types of people, and whenever it comes to handling my anger in the moment, I don't necessarily handle myself with grace. I handle myself with a lot of boldness and dignity, but not necessarily grace. I don't know what it is about whenever I come to my dad and my stepmom's house, but I always stop filming whenever everybody is around. I feel like I am not free to express myself or have my opinions around them, I guess, in a sense, which I'm just now realizing, so I'll work on that after this video. But, um, it feels like this is a part, or, or their lives is a part that I've been told I need to repress. I need to not share with the world because my stepmom cares so badly what people think about her. And I feel like partly me doing this video is a little bit disrespectful, but at the same time, I know I have to. And there was a reason why I've had this song Dollhouse stuck in my head. If you don't know it, it goes, um, well, now I can even think of it. And the cardinal just flew by. Cardinals represent your represent your ancestors or somebody who has passed on a spiritual guide in a sense that is there. But it's more specifically a guide that is tied to your lineage, your family lineage. And I think they just drove they just flow by, so I would know. I am loved and supported by this and saying this or else they wouldn't send me synchronicities, right? <laughs> and she just flew back by even slower. <gasps> I love my life so much. <laughs> I truly do. So, there's a lot of chaos energy that surrounds my dad and my stepmom. And I thought for a long time that this part of who I am, or who I was, I was so comfortable in chaos. I was so comfortable that whenever things started to go right, I would throw chaos into my life because I didn't know any different. And whenever things go right, anything could happen that I don't understand when chaos happens. I get it. I understand it. I know what you're gonna do. I know every move. I know how to play the game. But when things go right, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. Well, I'm learning what to do. And so whenever I come back here, things I see differently than I used to. It's not the chaos that felt like home anymore. It wasn't the chaos I was comfortable in anymore. It was the chaos I was over and tired of. I've always been outspoken and I've always pissed people off because of it. Because I've never, my whole life, I've never said things delicately. Or, I feel like whenever I say things delicately, people don't hear me. Or they don't respect me. Didn't. But whenever I would get angry, or whenever I would get loud, or whenever I would get, um, really bold, I guess, with my anger and the things that I've thought but haven't voiced, that's something I'll circle back to. Whenever that happens, 
I said I would circle back to this, but now I can't stop thinking about it, so I'm not circling back or handling this right now. Whenever you don't express yourself or your opinion or your, your voice whenever you need to, and it's something that you're gonna hold on to, realize what I just said. It's something you're gonna hold on to until you get into an angry moment or until you can use it as ammo or until, well, you just really don't have a plan because sometimes you feel like you're just trying your best, you're trying to let it go, you say you're gonna let it slide and then all of a sudden some shit happens and you feel yourself saying it. over here their their bushes are dying and we live in an apartment complex right <laughs> i don't know why all of their bushes are dying but i guess it doesn't really matter whenever we were coming back i said our tree is really beautiful <laughs> and it is it has it's this very lovely pink seat home oh, no don't look at me look at the tree that's a really nice tree. So then, when was it? This morning or last night? Something like that. Sick. I don't have a tripod, y'all. You're sitting on a kid's chair. Like the arm of a kid's chair. <laughs> it's a balancing act. Miss Lisa said, you know, I really love the pink of that tree out there. I said, yeah, Aaliyah and I were just saying the same thing. <laughs> And then this bird was just sitting there, as if just listening. Birds represent where you are. She was in a beautiful church. I was trying to see if that was the same one, but then she went away. I think it might have been. So, In general, since I don't know that specific type of bird, I'm going to say um, this is more of me spreading my wings and where I am. <laughs> she came, I think I scared her that time. <laughs> Anyways. So birds represent where I am on my journey, where I am as an instinctual animal. Sometimes I'm represented by wolves, sometimes I'm represented by rabbits, but um, birds specifically, just like that general group. Let me stop lying. I associate myself with all animals. I'm just an animal. At heart, it all makes sense in my brain. I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that, but that's how I feel sometimes. She was housed, she was secure. She was surrounded by beauty, just as I am right now. I'm at my parents' house, I'm secure, I'm safe. I'm surrounded by beauty everywhere. And it's so funny how comfortable I've gotten with chaos because automatically, 
I return back to my old ways. As soon as something happens, I don't know, I get triggered. And it's a trigger, it's a trigger response. It's a fight or flight response for me. That whenever things start going chaotic, I retreat back to, right now I'm feeling like this is really team, inner team work. Um, I absolutely love my inner team, but she's fucking hell. <laughs> I fucking love her. <laughs> she's cool as fuck. <laughs> Anyways, I have to go check on my stepmom to make sure she's okay. I got a sprite in here for her. She's down at the pool. You can't see it, but I'm wearing a bathing suit under this. And you can't see my lights, and I'm not going to show them to you either. But I feel like if I go down there, she's going to be basking in the same problem that we just had to face. And I know she's not going to want to deal with it. She doesn't want to talk about it. Both of us don't want to talk about it to each other. But I think when she sees me, she's going to try. And I'm simply going to ask her, do you really want to talk about this right now? Do you really? I don't know. I feel like that's kind of rude, don't you? make sure that she knows that I'm a safe space for her and one of my, I really wanted to have a good relationship with her and I feel like this is my opportunity I think she needed some time alone which I went to go get my eyebrows done because you know I'm going to see my man can't go over there looking like a sasquatch but <laughs> I got my eyebrows done and we me, Miss Lisa, and my niece, we're all going to go get our nails done. But we might end up going tomorrow instead. Um, no, I really just need to get mine taken off. That's all I'm trying to do. My niece, she's almost eight years old. She wants rainbow nails. And Miss Lisa has to go to a specific person because she's, something's going on with her thumbnail. She's like missing it or it's super small or something like that. So there's a specific person she has to go to that can handle that nail for her, or that finger for her. But anyways, plans changed very quickly. And in that time, I feel like, although I reverted back to my old ways, afterwards I sat on the floor with my niece she was crying in my arms and I said I'm so sorry thank you for teaching me how to be kinder and more gentle and more loving and I don't know if she knew that I meant in that moment and obviously I know I fucked up I could say it was my stepsister all day but I have a tendency of taking it a little bit too far. But I don't know. There was an ant going into my phone, so it's out now. <laughs> I didn't want it to be stuck in there. Apparently ants like to make nests in um, computers that get really hot. I don't know if you knew that, but they made one a nest in TJ's com work computer and he brought it to the office <clears throat> or he said he was going to bring it to the office and let them know what was going on and he was nervous because he was like I have all the weird computer problems and he kind of does <clears throat> that's neither good nor there I was getting off topic I was trying to distract you from work <laughs> sorry that's a habit <clears throat> it's not a habit. I had every control. <sighs> Shit. Being honest. This is where I am in my journey right now. I still beat myself up sometimes. I know that I can do great things. I know that I do great things every single day. I know whenever I'm truly aligned with my actions that everything just flows and everything is good. And it's all good anyways. It's just me making things more difficult for myself like I just did then.
you know, whenever I was little, I was always told, think before you speak, think before you speak, think before you speak. Whenever I turned 23, I decided to get off of Adderall and stop thinking before I spoke, in a sense. You see, I would think so much, I would miss the moment. I would think so much about what I was gonna say that I'd miss my opportunity to be a part of the conversation. I miss my opportunity to share my opinion. I miss my opportunities, I felt like. So I stopped and I was quiet and I only thought. So I decided no. And I learned how to think before I speak. And even though I thought it, I decided, yeah, that's the right thing to say. And I still said it. And I still do that sometimes. I say sometimes, like I'm not, that's the whole premise of this fucking video. I've been yibber yabbering for what? 20 damn minutes. Sorry guys. The point of this was not supposed to go on so long, I don't think. Or maybe it was. I haven't decided. You decide. Does any of this resonate with you? Let me know in the comments. I'm not perfect. I've never been perfect. I've never said I was perfect. I try and I learn and I think back on my actions every single time I can. dollhouse and the song that's now going in my head is a secret can you keep it so maybe i just need to no i've already decided with what was that one republic that i'm gonna give all my secrets away that's why i share everything i mean i'm an open book and soon you're not gonna have to ask the questions I said, this is where I am in my journey right now. There was just 3.33 on this. Yeah, I am doing it in separate videos, so life's funny like that. <laughs> I hope that my thought process could help you out in some way. I've got a relationship to grow and build, so I will see you later. Let me know if this helped you at all. And I guess if you have more questions or if you want me to elaborate on a certain thing, please also let me know. Um, I'd be happy to do more things if you need me to. But I think you're pretty cool. And I hope you have an awesome day. Because you deserve one. <laughs> Bye.